I feel huge congratulations into the match play final again it was some battle and at times it looks as if you were fighting with yourself up there just sum up how you're feeling for us it's a little bit like copy like yesterday isn't it I, uh, I think if you go there was only one person who deserved to, to win this semi-final. I think it was me. I could have been 12-3 up easily, I think. But when you keep missing doubles, keep missing chances, you're going to make yourself incredibly difficult. And that's exactly what I did. But beside all of that, I kept battling and I kept fighting and I never gave up wherever I was. And then, of course, I think he had one good patch in the game. I think he, the, the only patch, he was better over me. And then at a fantastic moment, I had a 1 3 6 finish, and that really, yeah, I think made me win this game. Does this feel very similar to two years ago when you came in? No one really gave you a chance, and you were second favourite going into the final against Gezi in a lot of people's eyes. Does it feel similar this time around, the same? I don't look uh, to details like that. I only believe in my own ability, and I, I'm a good player, I know that. My scoring power is fantastic, I think, this tournament, but my dolls are letting me down, but I have to do that better tomorrow. Against Luke, it's going to be a, a, a tough game, and recently he has the better of you, seven, seven in a row for Luke. How do you put that right? Because he's won some big games against you recently. Yeah, definitely, but he didn't want this match play against me yet, so it's going to be a really big format tomorrow, and I'm looking forward to that. And uh, of course, well, we, we battled a lot of small games against each other, especially in the Premier League, because then you meet each other probably weekly. And of course, the uh, last few times I didn't play my best, but I think I'm in a better form now, so I definitely can make it um, really difficult. Michael, congratulations. Thank you. Michael, how much of a blow do you think the, the 136 one, three, finish was for, for Michael Smith? Uh, it was definitely uh, one in the nuts for him, that's what I can say, but I, I, I let myself down too much in this game, and I know that I'm capable of doing a lot more, but uh, I did the right thing, and that, that's the only thing that matters. How much better do you think it needs to be tomorrow against Luke in the final? If I, to, if I throw 10% better on my double, I, I think I can win this final tomorrow. Uh, with all the respect, Luke is playing well, but he's not been testing properly yet, and I'm going to do that tomorrow. You mentioned there that although Luke's got the better of you over the last few occasions, you've not played in, in a match play final, you've been there before. Yeah, we, we never played over this long d distance to each other, so that's totally different. Tomorrow you can't compare this with the first to six legs, you know what I mean? We, we're playing first to 18, I think, tomorrow, so that's a really long format. I'm looking forward to it, and uh, I think it's going to be a cracker for people to watch. Thanks, Michael. Best of luck. Mm -hmm. Michael, before this tournament, everyone was talking about Luke Littler above you. You come into this tournament... Who? <laughs> no, no, of so, course, but, but people talk all the time. Yeah, but is it nice for you to, you've got to the final, you're one match away from reasserting yourself oh, at the top of the tree? I hope so, I hope so, that would be nice. Uh, I think I'm doing really well for myself this tournament so far. And of course, I, I beat some great doll players on, on route. Of course, Luke Lede is fantastic, a lot of talent, and he's got a great career in front of him, but I was the better over him. And uh, I know what I'm capable of. I know I'm, I'm always trying to be sharp. And yeah, I, I think uh, I can do a good job tomorrow. Thank you very much. Michael, tonight and yesterday, your checkout percentage has been low 30%. How concerned are you about that? I'm not concerned because to have a 98 average will double percent under the 30 percent <laughs> you must have played well in scoring you know what I mean so in that position you're always going to create chance for yourself and if I keep doing that I think I'm in a good place tomorrow. Do you think you're scoring better than Luke Humphries at the moment in this tournament? In this tournament yes I think Luke to all the stats I think I, my scoring is definitely better but you have to do it tomorrow in the final tomorrow is a different day again and I know I'm capable of but uh, I have to show it tomorrow. With everything that's happened in the past 12 months and how good Luke has done, how big of an achievement in your career would it be to lift this one match play tomorrow night? It would mean a lot to me, but we are not that far yet. I have to, to battle, uh, a big battle tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. I have to, uh, I have to smash him. <laughs> Michael, big well done. Thank you. Thank you. Michael, congratulations on the win. Thank Obviously, you. you mentioned the similarities to the game yesterday with Andrew Gilding. It was a 1-3-6 checkout that sucker punched him. Would you say it was the same again today? Yeah, maybe, but uh, but I think even I was was the first chance he had a chance. He didn't have a chance, but he was able to go and form in this in this game. But 
outside that, I still I, I would have still had the belief to 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 beat him after that because I think I was the better player in the whole game. And uh, as long as you keep believing that, I think anything's possible. And you've won your last three match play finals. Does that give you any more confidence going into the game tomorrow? I have to win it tomorrow as well. And last three, they don't count anymore. <laughs> There's a new one. Michael, many congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.